Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots and my name is Kerr. And on this channel, we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. I have been gone for a few days, so I did not film for a few days. I'm back now. I went to go visit family in Philadelphia. So now that I'm back, we are back on our filming schedule. <laughs> Okay guys, by now you would have seen that I also have a giveaway that's going on. So if you haven't checked that out, please check out, I think maybe a couple of videos ago is when I posted it. Make sure that you read the rules carefully and best of luck to whomever gets the giveaway. So today we are going to be using the LA Girl Festi Bestie palette. I have not used this, although I did buy it a long time ago. And this is what the colors look like. Oh, and it comes with a gigantic mirror. Holy crap. Oh, wait, let's take the plastic off. Hold on. Let's take that off. The plastic on these has a um, has the names on it. And then also it has like a, a stickiness to it. How do you call it? It's got um, like <laughs> uh, tape or something on the edges of the... There we go. We'll stick it to the mirror. We're going to stick it to the mirror. As tape or something along the edges of the plastic so that I think you're supposed to just pop it back onto the eyeshadow after you're done using it but I'm probably never going to do that so I'm just going to tape it I think I'm going to tape it to the mirror why am I having such a struggle here just line it up and tape it not hard see line it up and press it down wow that was a lot of work so we're going to tape it to the mirror but this is what the the palette looks like here are the shadows you can see already I'm busted I swatched one at one point um but yeah we are going to do I don't know what we're going to do we're going to do probably only what two shades because I am busy I have to get going so we're probably going to just pick two shades so let's get prepped we'll do that first also, don't drop the palette on the floor. Wow, I am totally out of practice here, you guys. Um, <clears throat> let's begin by priming the lid. We're going to use our Essence Prime Like a Boss eyeshadow base. The one that I talk about constantly because I love it so much because it works so well. And we're going to throw this on here. I might have to turn my fan on, you guys, because it's hot. It's still summer and my room is toasty. So we're going to pop that on the lid. Like so. And while we're letting that soak in, we're going to throw another primer onto the face. Because as I mentioned, it's summer. And I can't go without primer in the summer. So I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup Skin Care Primer. I've showed this on my channel before. Um, I do like this. Oops. Is it going to be? Is it going to show up? I've showed this on my channel before. I do like this primer a lot, and it's supposed to be a dupe, I believe, for the Hourglass Something Veil primer. So we're going to use this and give that a pump. It has a silicone -y feel to it. This is what it looks like. I only did one pump because we really only need to get to the places where I'm oiliest. Also, not sure if that's showing up on camera, but I definitely broke out while on my trip. That is not unusual for me. Typically when I travel, my skin acts a fool, either because of just the stress of travel or because um, the water is different. Either way, it's fine. This is fine, but I do like this primer. So if you're looking for a dupe for that, I think it's like the Mineral Veil primer. You might want to check that out. Okay, moving along. Let me go like this real quick and then we'll get started. So I don't believe that these shadows have a lot of fallout, but because I'm not quite sure, we're not going to prime the rest of the face yet, just in case I need to wipe something off. So I'm gonna grab my fluffy brush here and we're gonna pop a color into the crease. I think I'm gonna use this one right here. This one in the top corner and we'll see what it looks like. Not a lot of kickback in the pan. So we're just gonna do our little windshield wiper motion. It's nice, it's got good color payoff. I hope you can see that. It just feels like a regular shadow. It's a drier formula. So I guess I can compare this to say, 
who has a dry formula like this? Maybe like Viseart has a slightly drier matte formula. That's what this feels like. So we're just doing our little windshield wiper motion, going back and forth, working our way up into the crease. We'll do a little bit more on this side. That's good. And then we're going to take the same shade. We're going to do a little bit of circles right here. Some little circles in that outer corner, just like that. Same to this side, some little circles. We're not going to the complete edge of the eye, which is right here. We're going just short of it because believe me, these shadows will migrate out there on their own. And we don't want the shadow out here either. So we're stopping just short of the edge of the eye. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then we're gonna pop another color on. Let's go in with this deeper shade right here. We're going to pick this one right here and we're going to use that for the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. Again, we have our little circles going. Same for this side. We're really not doing a lot today, you guys. Just trying to get back into the groove of things. Okay, so that deepens that edge a little bit. And then we're going to take this brush and set it down. And now we're going to go in with our flat brush, which apparently I did not pull out. <laughs> so let me grab a flat brush real quick. This one will work. All right. So for the lid, I think I'm going to go on with this color right here. Boy, we're doing a lot of orange today. I guess this is going to be an orange day. This one right here. Um, but before I do that, let me set the palette down really quick and my brush. And we're going to go and grab our NYX Glitter Primer because I'm not sure how well that shadow is going to stick. And I'm going to grab a little synthetic brush here, just a little flat synthetic brush. And we're going to go over. You don't need a lot either. Just a little bit of primer will do. We're going to go over all the spots where we want that shade to really pop. You want to be careful with this primer because anything that it touches, if you lift your brush, it's going to lift it up. This stuff is super sticky, but that's because it's a glitter primer. It's intended to hold on to glitter and a lot of people love it. They love it for shadow, especially shadows that maybe have a lot of fallout or apply patchy and you want to be able to pack it onto the lid. A really good example would be yellows. Yellows are very difficult to formulate. So if you're trying to get like a shadow like that to stay, then using this NYX primer works really, really well. So let's grab our little brush again that we we're going to work with. And we're going to go in with that orange and we're going to pop that right on top of all the places where I just laid down the primer. So we're not doing anything but pressing. We're just pressing. You cannot blend this out on top of that primer. As I mentioned, it's quite sticky. So instead you just use it to press and you can really pack on the color just like that. Now we'll do this side. See what I mean? How, when you put that primer on, it really does have an impact on the shadow. Not to say that the shadow wouldn't have been as pigmented without it, but I'm telling you, this seals the deal. This ensures that whatever color you're laying on top of it is really the color that you're going to see versus having to fiddle around with it or blend it out and all that because we don't have time for that this morning. Okay. A little bit more because you know I like to overdo it. And yes, it does have some fallout. I can feel it on my face. There we go. All right. What do you think? Okay, that's done. <laughs> do I want to do anything else? Probably. Let's see. 
I still have my little fluffy brush here that we were using. I think I'm going to go in with this purple right here and just dust it along the edges. Pop a little bit at that. Ooh. <laughs> well, we're about to find out, huh? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that deepens it up nicely. Okay, I'm glad I did that. But a little tap will do you. You really don't need more than that. Do this side. There we go. Have our little windshield wiper motion going. Just pulling it up a little bit. Just a little. Not too high, but about halfway to that brow bone. Okay. I think that's good. That is good. So, let's clean off the fallout. This is a beautiful palette. I'm glad that I pulled this out. I've been trying to pull out all of the palettes that I have not used or touched or anything that I've had for a really long time. So, that's why we pulled this one out today. I have a whole basket of them. I've had baskets of them. So you may have noticed that I keep using different palettes in my videos. That would be why. I'm trying to use them up, you guys. I'm going to clean up this fallout that I have on my face using these Neutrogena wipes. I love these. I always buy them for when I travel. And since I still have some of them left, I'm going to use them up because they will dry up over time. And I don't believe that we're doing any more trips this year. I mean, I always say that and then something ends up coming up, but I really don't think we are. Next year, though, is a whole nother story. There's going to be some trips next year. <laughs> so I think that's why we're trying to chill this year. I'm going to go in with the Milani Under Eye Brightener Conceal and Perfect in number four. This is just to get rid of the gray. What's this? Glue? Oh, gosh. Careful. Okay, this is to get rid of the gray that's underneath my eyes. It's normal, it's hereditary, but I don't necessarily want it making an appearance. And then we're going to get the melasma right here. And an eyelash. Ooh, you guys, I'm falling to pieces today. Look at me, a train wreck. I don't film for several days and this is what it looks like. Get out of there, eyelash. Okay. Back on track. All right, and then we're going to grab a sponge. going to sponge it out. I just have these little sponges from Ulta. You know what? Right now, Ulta is having a killer sale. Like a 72-hour sale or something. I think it started yesterday. They have so much stuff going on. So you might want to hop on their website if there's stuff that you need to restock and see if it's on there. For example, they have that vanilla company, Kill It Zero. I love that stuff. And it was marked way down. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. And I have mine in 7 to 8 tan deep. I have been loving this stuff. I've been using it all summer long. It's fantastic. Let's move this out of the way. I definitely recommend it. It's truly a serum too. So when you put it on your face, it has a very cooling effect. And my little dropper is broken. <laughs> So what I've been doing is just <clears throat> adding it to my sponge like that, just kind of smearing it on there. And then I'll put the rest of it on my face. Oops, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. That's fine. It's my mess. A little on the forehead, over here on the cheeks, a little over here. I always go overboard with this though. I can't seem to grab just a little bit of product. I seem to be very heavy-handed when it comes to the serum. I don't know why. I, I really could not explain it. But I do like the way it feels when applied. It's very cooling. I don't know how else to describe it. It feels like the products that they use when you go to get a facial. It's just soothing. And it blends in beautifully. Plus this color is really, I don't know what they put in here, but it seems to work well for a lot of different shades because I've seen several people on YouTube that use it. 
And I think all of us have different foundation shades, but this particular serum seems to work for a range of people. Oh, so nice. It just feels nice. Okay. I think that's good. I think it's blended in. It looks blended. Yeah, it's blended. Okay, so now let's close this so we don't get serum everywhere. Love it. Pick it up. It's at Ulta. We're going to go in with some powder. This is the Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget Powder. I love this stuff. But as usual, I have to warn you, it will leave you casket ready. So just keep that in mind if you're doing photography or just walking around in general. Just keep that in mind. But it will set anything that you put on your face. So we're just putting that down there. I always have to do my forehead first because I'm telling you, it's a situation. Let that sit there for a second. We're not doing the rest of the face yet. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna grab our Lancome Tainted Old Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in the shade 470. And pop this on real quick. I'm almost out of this stuff. I gotta grab my little spatula and start scraping the sides. If you know what I'm talking about, they sell these little spatulas at Ulta that fit inside of bottles that are small like this. So you can scrape out the product from the inside and then that way you're not wasting your money. You're actually getting your money's worth because everything that's in that bottle you're able to scrape out of there. Definitely recommend grabbing those. The one that I bought comes I think in a two pack or came in a two pack. It's worth it though because we spend a lot of money on these products which means we should be using them all up. Okay. That's that. And then let's get back to our powder. A little bit more. <laughs> let's put this down. How come I, oh, because I don't have the thing open all the way. I was like, how come there's so little of this that's coming out? I know, I know, but I promise you, this is going to settle down in a minute. It just looks crazy for now. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about sweating off my makeup for the day. Let's pop this back in here. Put our giant brush away. I like those big fluffy brushes though. They're nice. Okay, so now we want to, where is it? Now we need this. This is from MAC. It is the brow pencil and spiked. I don't think I'm gonna fill in my brows because my brows are tattooed, but if I were to fill them in, this is what I would reach for. Ooh, you guys, I need to pluck my brows. We are looking rough this morning. Hold on. We're not going to be out in the streets looking like that. Give me a second. Let's fix this real quick. We don't need to go crazy, but there's a couple few over here that are really just making an appearance. You guys are not the stars of this show. Cameos only. Anything else? One more? Wow. That was quite a few, wasn't it? How about this side? This side's not so bad. I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed that the hair on my body grows faster on one side than it does the other. Is that true for you? I always think that's so strange. The body is really incredible. It just does what it does. Okay, much better. So. Because we're out here looking a bit light, we're going to use our Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Golden Almond. And we're going to take our little sponge. Actually, we're not. We're going to grab our Kabuki brush real quick. We're going to do one of these deals. And we're just going to take that and work it around to add a little bit of color back into the vase. Because I did go kind of crazy with that powder. 
Just a smidge. Okay, that's better. All right, and we need to oof, grab our blush. I was gonna do some bronzer, but I really, maybe a little, maybe a little. We'll do this first. How about Mented? We're gonna go in the shade Vacay for our bronzer. That's what it looks like. We have our little chiseling brush here. We don't need a lot, just a little. Just something to warm the perimeter. There we go. That's better. Yeah. I think I may have gone a little bit ham with that powder. <laughs> it just a scotch. <laughs> okay. I know I'm acting silly, but I missed you guys. It was it's so nice to be back. I missed you. I miss filming. We have our little brush here. And we're going to go with our blush from Mented, which is a black owned brand. This is the shade Buried Away. That's what the blush looks like. Little compact does come with the mirror. We are going to tap because this stuff is, there's a lot of it that comes out. So we're just going to be a little bit careful. This is me just adding a little bit more a little bit more. I don't know why I do this. You guys, I really don't. Trying not to go crazy, trying. <laughs> no promises though. No promises, just a little bit crazy. Okay. That's plenty. My hair looks crazy. You guys, you don't mind though, do you? This is just me looking completely normal. This is authentic. There's nothing much curated about this look. All right, let's uh, set our face. We have the Milani Cherry Make It Last Cherry Scented Setting Spray. They don't make this anymore, but I did pick this up at Marshall's a while ago. And then while we're waiting for that to do what it do, we are going to go in with a little bit of liner. This one is from Urban Decay. It's in the shade Demolition. If you've been to my channel before, you know this is my favorite liner. And we're just pushing this into the lashes. And we're doing that because we want the lashes to look thicker. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And I need to sharpen this. This is a little tiny bit left. <laughs> That's how you can tell it's my favorite liner. All of the Urban Decay liners are amazing. We're going to go in with the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Mascara. Today I am not going underneath my eyes to mirror the look because I don't want it to be that impactful. I'm just going to work. So this is sufficient. I really like this mascara. I think the reason I like it is the formula, which if you were going to compare a shampoo and conditioner, this would be the conditioner. It's a little bit thicker, but I also love the wand. When I say it's going to grab every single lash, there is no lash left behind. Let's pull this in, do a little bit more. This is the kind of look where I really should throw on some lashes, but I'm not going to because I don't feel like fiddling with lashes this morning. I know. I know my hair looks nuts. We'll fix that in a second. All right. And then just going with the lower lash line, when you're using this wand, you just have to be a little bit careful because it is so big and fluffy. It's very easy to get mascara in places that you don't want it. But I'm telling you, it really does grab every single lash. 
There we go. That's better. Yeah, but much better. Much better. We need something for our lips. I think we're gonna keep the lips kind of neutral. Oh, ow, I just banged my elbow. Um, let's see. These are both from Mac. This one is cork. This one is chestnut. We're gonna go with chestnut. We're gonna do a little, little liner around the lips. A little '90s touch. Hmm, so nice. They should take chestnut and turn it into like a lustrous lipstick. Yes, I do like that. And for my topper, I think I'm gonna probably grab, let me look the compass case um I think I'm gonna grab this one I've been wearing this a lot it's Raisin Rage from Revlon it's number 630 this is what the shade looks like and I know that's a rather sultry lip for such a sunny color on my lid isn't it but that's what I wanted to do so that's what we're doing. Mm, make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth. Mm, pop. Okay. I know. I need to dye my hair. I need to twist. I need to do a lot of stuff. But we're just going to try and walk out the house looking relatively presentable. Let me know if you guys want me to share a video on... How I maintain my locks. I've had them since I was 17 and I'm 44 now. So I've had them longer than some of you guys have been alive. <laughs> it's weird to even say. It goes quickly, y'all. Have fun. We're just doing this to kind of tame a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. Famous last words. There we go. We look a little more presentable. I'll throw some earrings on in a minute, but this, this is the look. Let me know what you guys think. I hope that you like it. This palette, I can definitely say unequivocally, if you can still get your hands on it, this LA Girl Bestie Festy or Festy Bestie palette, go ahead and grab it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it you can see how easily I was able to apply these colors and how well they work together. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.